Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and today we've got our brand new iPhone 15 Pro here. Gonna do a quick unboxing, not too detailed because you can go elsewhere for that. So I'm gonna do a quick look at this first impressions. I've not even opened this up yet. This is my iPhone 13 Pro that I'll be coming from. So I to upgrade this year. So let's get to it. So the box is pretty much exactly the same in size. No uh, wrapping again this year. Two tabs, not just the one. And then we have it. Now, first impressions, to me, it looks silver rather than titanium. I've gone for the titanium version, but in the flesh, it looks more silver. So, comes with the usual gumph, Apple stickers, the SIM card removal tool that you get in Europe. Uh, it looks a little bit smaller this year, let's say 10%. Don't know if that was the same in the iPhone 14, because I didn't get it that year. New this year is the nice braided cable, obviously USB-C, we all know about that. Let's just see how big it is. So I'd say probably just under a meter, USB-C cable, standard, nicely braided. So that might get a bit grubby, but no grubbier than the plastic ones that you get. This is actually quite thin compared to some USB-C connectors that I'm so used to seeing on CarPlay adapters and so on. So that's the general cable and accessories that you get with it. And let's go for the actual phone itself. Slight shows you what the buttons are. It's got the uh, SIM card tray still, volume sliders, and now we have this new all-in-one button rather than the sleep switch and the power on and off button. Bump is not as protruding as I was expecting it to be on uh, the 15, so that's good to see. Let's take this off. I'm gonna go straight in with the screen protector this year because I didn't do it on the iPhone 13 Pro, and I don't know if you can make out, I've got a really nice deep scratch there after doing some DIY, a couple of scratches on this side too. But other than that, the back's been fine because it's been in the back of a case, but I didn't put a screen protector on in time. So I'm definitely gonna do that this year. And um, the one thing that strikes me straight away is the beveled edges of the screen in the light. It kind of curves away from you where this is got like a little bit of a hard edge to it. You can even see that the light reflecting off it slightly differently between the 13 Pro and the 15 Pro. So you kind of get more of a bezeled edge, plus this is darker, so this is gonna stand out a lot less than this one. This is a bit of a lighter color, but the feel is definitely nice, nicer to feel. It's more rounded, so it's really nice to hold. Back's a little bit more frosted than the 13. Camera bumps, as you can see, it looks a little bit less, a lot, well, a little bit less than the actual bumps on the actual lenses. So that's a really good thing to see. Same aerial marks on these sides. I've touched it a little bit already and I've touched this pretty much the same amount and I'm seeing more fingerprints on the 13 Pro rather than on the titanium, but we'll see over the test of time how much that changes. The all important bit for some people is the USB-C connection. Speaker grills are exactly the same, but the big difference is, is the USB-C port. So that's good. Aerial marks are just slightly changed. Does feel, yeah, you can see if I put this edge together, you can see there is a little bit of a lip on the 13 Pro that's underneath. So that just shows you that the phone is slightly thinner. For the grip though, I'd say, yeah, you do feel it a little bit thinner in the grip. Definitely. Yeah, you definitely feel the weight difference on this. It is marginal, it's like 20 grams, I believe, but that 20 gram does feel different in the hand. It feels a lot more agile, especially if you're gonna be holding it a long time, doom scrolling for the rest of the day. Um, so nice to see that the camera bumps are less. Like the finish, I'm not seeing any fingerprints on this just yet. Maybe over the test of time, you can slightly see where my fingers oils have gone. It's slightly lighter around the switch. I'd rather have that than actual fingerprints like the beveled edge nice to, to scroll like the lightness like the slight thinness i'm going to get the first time with the dynamic island as well so i'm going to really enjoy that too okay so let's power it on i like the way they do this it's annoying that you have to do this with your phone already available you can't kind of like sell this yet until you get the new one Yes, you can back up, but super inconvenient. Uh, this is um, a lot more easy. So we've got a software update already. So let's update now. 
A few moments later. So here's the feature of the new action button on the side of the 15 Pro. Here you can choose what that action button does. It doesn't have to do sleep. It can do other functions as well. So you've seen probably on some other YouTube videos already, you can change the focus, uh, use it to launch the camera straight away, use it to trigger the flashlight uh, or trigger a voice memo that goes straight into voice memo and starts recording straight away. So that's pretty cool. You can use it to do a Siri short cut which means you could do inevitably anything that you want or you could actually fire off an accessibility mode such as zoom uh, turn the brightness on and off um, and things like that so I think we just do let's just do it to camera though and just see um, what it actually does so you can choose whether you want it to do a selfie go straight to video uh, view portrait mode or portrait selfie so you can have it fire the internal one if you do selfies very quickly do not disturb you can have that button go straight into a certain do not disturb function uh, torch is vanilla so is memo here you can choose a shortcut and here you can choose accessibility function you want to fire off as well so i'm going to do camera i'm going to do photo so mode and hit OK and now we can get going. So all my apps are now downloading. Uh, let's try it out. Hold to open. OK, so portrait modes. So again, with the 15 Pro, you've got the 28 uh, mil, 35 mil and 24 uh, mil versions as well as two zoom, three zoom and 0 0.5. So that's nice to see. And just generally everything's all a bit nice and snappy. So let's try this again. It's not going to do a, a straight single press. You do have to hold it down and that fires it up. You can launch the camera from the home screen anyway, so it's not really much of a big deal. Same with the torch light. So I think it really comes into its own if you wanna launch the camera option straight into a certain functionality such as video. And I can imagine the voice memo is a nice uh, thing as well. New Dynamic Island as well, that's new for me. So I'm gonna have to get used to using that as well. But if you've got iOS 17 on your iPhone already, uh, you'll know most of the iPhone 17 features and what they come with as well. All right, so that's a quick look over the iPhone 15 Pro Titanium Edition. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.